set up. <laughs> so I'm going to visit the other heat and the other one's not working. Oh, can you light a candle? I didn't think you could do. No. Oh. That's a pretty tree. That must be from Easter, is it? That's <laughs> 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 Neil's that family too, right? Funny Matheson, yes? Right in here. Yep. Yeah. You have to go back there and sign in. You have to go all the way at the back to sign in.
Yes. Uh, let us pray. Father of all pity and God of all consolation, you love us with an everlasting love. You turn the shadow of death into the dawn of life. Look, we pray, O Lord, upon your servants in our mourning and distress. Lord, to be our Savior and our strength. And from the darkness and grief of this desolation, raise us to the light and peace of your presence. And because your Son, our Lord, dying has destroyed death for us, and by rising again has given us new life, grant us, we beg you, that we may run towards him. And when our life on earth is ended, may we one day be reunited with our sister, where every tear shall be wiped from our eyes. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all the world will see. You, you shall, shall see, see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And I will give you If you pass through raging waters, in the sea you shall not drown. If you walk amidst the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of death, then hell is at your side. Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. 
I go before you always come follow me and I will give you rest blessed are the poor for the kingdom shall be theirs blessed are you that weep and mourn for one day you shall laugh and if wicked tongues insult and hate you all because of me blessed blessed are you be not afraid i go before you always come follow me and i will give you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to pray, we come to celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus, giving thanks to God for Bunny's share in that holy mystery, and rededicating ourselves on that same journey. We begin, as we always do, by recalling to mind our sins, Praising God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now let us pray. Lord, hear our prayers. By raising your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, from the dead, you have given us faith. Strengthen our hope that Bunny, our sister, may dwell forever in the power of the Lord's resurrection. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. I should be seated for the readings, please. First reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 4. But the just man, though he die early, shall be at rest. For the age that is honorable comes not with the passing of time, nor can it be measured in terms of years. Rather, understanding is the hoary crown for men, and an unsullied life of the attainment of old age, he who pleased God was loved. He who lived among sinners was transported, snatched away, lest wickedness pervert his mind or deceit beguile his soul. For the witchery of paltry things obscures what is right, and the whirl of desire transforms the innocent mind. Having become perfect in a short while, he reached the fullness of a long career. For his soul was pleasing to the Lord, therefore he sped him out of the midst of wickedness. But the people saw and did not understand, nor did they take this into account, that God's grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
fresh and green are the pastures where you give me repose. Near restful waters you lead me to revive my drooping spirits. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing I, I shall want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your cloak and your staff. With these, you give me comfort. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall You have prepared a banquet for me. In the sight of my foes, my head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing I shall. Surely goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The, the Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teaching of demons through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Jesus Christ, nourished on the words of faith and the sound teaching that you have followed have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, how beautiful, on the mountain top, are the feet of those, who bring your word. Bring your word. How beautiful. How beautiful. On the village street. On the village street. Are the lips of those. Are the lips of those. Who speak your peace. Who speak your peace. How beautiful. How beautiful. Alleluia. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. With the coming of evening that same day, Jesus said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him just as he was in the boat. And there were other boats with him. And then it began to blow a gale, and the waves were breaking into the boat so that it was almost swamped. But he was in the stern with his head on a cushion asleep. They woke him and said to him, Master, do you not care that we are going down? And he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet now, be calm. And the wind dropped and all was calm again. And then he said to them, Why were you so frightened? How is it that you have no faith? They were filled with awe and said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Oh, friends, once more we offer our love and sympathy to uh, Bonnie's uh, uh, family, Roy and the f family, and the extended family in the Miramichi. We all consider ourselves kind of one uh, one big family. We we know each other over the years. I know as a, a kid growing up in Logieville, my mother was a hiller. <laughs> so uh, uh, growing up, it was always Johnny McMahon and Mona McMahon. <laughs> and uh, uh, funny, I don't know, I don't, no, they were closely related, but they were all living uh, near around that area. Uh, area, And then my mother also was related to the Stan Gokey and all the, all the crowd. So it was just kind of in waves, just spread through the town. So everybody was uh, connected and related in, in some ways. So we give thanks to God for that uh, close-knit uh, family. It's a wonderful thing to have uh, in moments when you're sensing a, a, a loss of... Uh, person. So Bunny was uh, always one of those people, you you all knew her uh, in your own way, always one of those people, had lots of energy. Her name, uh, nobody knows this sort of thing, <laughs> her name was Elizabeth uh, uh, Ellen there. We, I don't think anybody ever knew till we saw the uh, obits there what, what her real name uh, was, but it means uh, bright oath of God. In other words, uh, you know, seeing that there was a promise from God uh, and it had, uh, uh, it had that, that light and encouragement. And uh, so when you saw Bunny, she always had a smile um, most of the time. Uh, she got in trouble with the cops one day <laughs> um, when, when she and Roy got married there. They opened up a, a little restaurant downtown and um, the police came by one afternoon for a cup of coffee. Uh, and uh, so a Bunny served the coffee and the bill. Nobody had told her that in Chatham, uh, in the restaurants, don't charge the cops for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so she almost ended up in jail that day. Uh, and uh, you, uh, we knew her, of course, a lot from, uh, from her uh, banking days. And uh, the same thing, she was always in the bank. She was coming in, coming out, always had a smile. Everything was seemed great. And uh, one day there was this young couple, Roy was telling us about this young couple going out. And they were just on top of the world talking and laughing. And, uh, and so uh, when Roy got to see Bunny, he said, how much did you lend to them? And uh, she said, no, I turned them down. Oh, well, how come he said they were so happy going out? He, she said, well, I, I let them down easy. I, I told them, just go home for a couple of months and save up you know, your extra cash and stuff like that, and then just see how much uh, debt you're able to handle, and then come back and see me, and you can tell me. Well, I tried that one day, but all I went back I was I, had a, I snared a couple of rabbits and I had a couple of cans of sardines. <laughs> it, it didn't work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, Bunny was part of that uh, joy of, of life and the strength and the energy, and the... Uh, the encouragement with it. She had all those jobs. 
Uh, you you read in the obits there, you know, all the, the things she was part of, and she was always part of the uh, uh, the church uh, committees and community. Uh, when I first arrived at St. Samuel's Parish there in Douglastown, uh, about the first day or two, I needed some letter typed up for something or other, and uh, I can type with two fingers, and even that, I didn't have a typewriter. So who would I think of? Bunny. <laughs> So down I went, and uh, uh, Roy got us all organized there, and, and uh, I can still remember Roy saying, "Now we got to get this right," <laughs> as if Bunny wasn't going to have it uh, just uh, just perfect when they come off the press there. So uh, it is uh, with faith that we uh, that we enjoy uh, one another, and with great uh, uh, hope, the Bible there, the the calming of the sea very much part of the life uh, and, uh, and, and gift of uh, Bunny. Uh, and it says that the, uh, just a few passages before what I read there, it says that, um, quoting the prophet Isaiah, and it says, they see and see again, but don't understand. They hear and hear again, and they don't understand. But he never stopped teaching. And here he was, uh, this story, in the boat, and he was still teaching them. He was saying, as Isaiah said, how many times do we have to have this message before we catch on uh, that God is in our lives, wanting to be in our lives, wanting uh, us, <laughs> you know, to be uh, uh, part of his uh, uh, family, if you like. Often we come for, for funerals where we're celebrating the Mass, and we're, we're celebrating the fact, like it says in that gospel, that they took Jesus in the boat just as he was. The person they didn't understand. The person that they quite couldn't figure out, but they weren't going to leave him behind. And so that happens uh, with us when we come from Mass. We have a little bit of bread and a little bit of wine, and we take them just as they are. And they don't change from our eyes and from our ears. But they change into the body and blood of Christ. That's what he said, take this and eat it. This is my body. And so sometimes you might have to look hard. And we have to uh, take into account that if this miracle is possible, that bread and wine can become the body and blood of Christ, then isn't it just as true, like St. Paul says in the, in the letter to the Romans, that all creation is groaning as if trying to give birth to a salvation, to the word and to the gift of, uh, of God. And so at that moment, we just celebrated through the Easter season. Uh, you know, death, many, many people still believe, you know, when you're dead, you're dead. That's it. But uh, Christians, somehow or other, from taking Jesus into that boat, somehow or other, it, we, we say it's not it. We might not understand what it is, but we know it's not the end. Because the day Jesus died on the cross, it said that death was not eternal. Death was a moment in history. He died Friday, he rose on Sunday. And so we have that... Um, uh, that great hope and faith, but we got to be, uh, we got to be with it. We got to be in it. I was telling them a few, few days back there about, uh, I, I, when I got to the parish in Westfield, there, there was no, no can opener. So not having a housekeeper, you know, <laughs> can opener was going to be quite important to a piece of equipment. So when people asked what I wanted for Christmas, I said, I need a can opener. And uh, so when Christmas came, different gifts there, so I just ripped the paper off there. Oh, I saw the box, can opener. Good, put that over there, that's just what I need. So, I thought I had all my, my uh, needs supplied, and uh, about a month after, I went to take the tree down, that put it, get everything back in its place, so I opened the box for the can opener. It was a roll of homemade bread, hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, our, our faith can be like that. We have it right there, right in the box, right in the package, and we just let it go stale and harder and harder. But the Bible says, 
even if we sin, we have a redeemer. And so, being a Scotchman, I saw one there a while ago, being a Scotchman, I took the, the hard roll of bread, and I dipped it in water, because I had heard people saying about, you know, freeze-dried. <laughs> <laughs> so I soaked the old bread in the, in the water till it was getting pretty wet, put it in the, in the fridge for two or three months, took it out, well, not quite like from the oven, <laughs> but it was redeemed uh, uh, quite a bit. So our ordinary lives are telling us every day, you know, that, that God loves us and asking us uh, to participate in that kind of faith and hope. So I'll share, as I often do at funerals, a little passage from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. And, uh, well, I'm sure St. Paul won't mind, or the good Lord won't mind, if we just kind of uh, pretend, or if we listen to it today, not, not from St. Paul, but let's listen to it as if it was uh, Bunny's uh, final words to us. So then, my dear family and friends, continue to do as you always have, not only as you did when I was there with you, but even more now that I am no longer there. And work for your salvation in fear and trembling. It is God for his own loving purpose who puts both the will and the action into you. Do all that has to be done without complaining or arguing and then you will be innocent and genuine, perfect children of God among a deceitful and underhanded brood, and you will shine in the world like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life. This would give me something to be proud of on the day of Christ, and it would mean that I had not run in the race and exhausted myself for nothing. And then if my death has to be part of your sacrifice and offering, which is your faith, then I shall be happy and rejoice with all of you. And you must be just as happy and rejoice with me. So I'd ask you to rise as we offer our intercessions. The response for the prayers of the faithful is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. In baptism, Bunny received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Our sister Bunny was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show mercy to those who suffer unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Bunny seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Bunny. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of St. Michael, our patron, make us worthy, O Lord, to receive the gifts we have asked. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Be seated as the gifts are prepared.
softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and for me impatient and loving he's waiting and watching watching for you and for me come home come home ye who are weary come home earnestly tenderly jesus is calling calling all oh sinners come home why should we linger when jesus is pleading pleading for you and for me and why should we wait then and heed not his mercies mercies for you and for me come home come home ye who are weary come home earnestly tenderly jesus is calling calling all oh sinners come home pray that our sacrifice may become acceptable to god the almighty father Lord, uh, look favorably upon our offerings so that your departed servant, Bunny, our sister, may be taken up into the glory of your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Lord, uh, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, 
Graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these holy mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, blessed it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Savior of the world, save us. Savior of the world, save us. Savior of the world. O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Michael and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Today, remember Bunny, to her and to all our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 pray as the Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, and blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Gentle woman, Quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom. Teach us love. You were chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. You were chosen for all. women, shining one, gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, 
peaceful dark, teach us wisdom, teach us all. Blessed are you among women, blessed they. All women too, blessed day with peaceful spirits, blessed day with gentle heart, gentle woman. Quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom. Teach us love, teach us wisdom, teach us love. Going home, going home. I'm just going home. Quiet life, sleep away. I'll be going home. It's not far, just close by. Jesus is the door. Work all done. Lay aside fear and grief no more. Friends are there waiting now. He is waiting to see his smile, see his hand. He Morning star lights the way, restless dreams all done. Shadows gone, break of day, life has just begun. Every tear washed away. Pain and sickness gone. Wide awake there with him. Peace goes on and on. Going home, going home. I'm just going home. See the light, see the sun. I'm just going home. I'm just going home. So, friends, I'll ask you to remain seated a few moments. Uh, Julia wants to share a few words with you. Then. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. Bunny was born on November 2nd, 1936, to Nellie and Bernard McMahon in Chatham, New Brunswick. She was proud and true to her Chathamers through her entire life. In 1942, she started grade one at the white school, as there was no kindergarten at the time. She attended a number of schools throughout her educational years, 
including art school in Moncton, before graduating from St. Michael's on June 24, 1954. In her youth, she was crowned queen of numerous winter carnival events in both Newcastle and Chatham. In July of 1954, after her high school graduation, Bunny and Roy opened the Double M restaurant in downtown Chatham. Roy joined the Dental Corps two months later on September 15th and soon moved to board in Ontario. To Bunny's surprise, Roy was posted to Calgary instead of coming home that Christmas. By the following spring, on a windy Tuesday, April 12, 1955, Bunny and Roy married. Their first posting through the Dental Corps was to Calgary, where their first son Richard was born on the 27th of January, 1956. Their second son Terry was born there as well on the 20th of July, 1957. It will be no surprise to anyone who knew my nan that one evening in Calgary, while Grandpa was at work, she baked a beautiful butterscotch pie for when he got home. I can attest that Nan was a wonderful baker, and she spent much of her time with her grandchildren teaching us her tricks in the kitchen. On this day in particular, Nan couldn't resist trying her pie herself before Gramp got home. One piece was so delicious that she couldn't help but have another. Another turned into another, and in the way she told it, she had eventually eaten about half the pie. In order to cover up the fact that she ate so much pie, she ate the rest of the pie and hid all evidence of it ever existing. She took the time to bake another, and Grampy would know none the better. She had a few tricks up her sleeve that she tried to hide from Gramp over the years. In another instance, a few evenings before Christmas, Nan had picked up one of her wrapped presents from Grampy and tore at the corner to get a peek of what it was. When ripping the corner wasn't enough, she decided to open the thing entirely. Though she might have gotten away with opening one, Nan proceeded to open all of her presents, and by the end of the night had rewrapped them. I don't doubt that she had them placed perfectly under the tree as they were when she started. In her antics, she always made a point to cover her tracks, and she had a keen eye for detail that makes you feel she would have easily gotten away with these things. <clears throat> In September 1958, Bunny moved home to Chatham to live with her mother while Roy spent a year in Egypt. Actually, Nan always made a note to say it was really a year, a week, and a day, not that she was counting. After returning home, Roy, Bunny, and their boys were posted to CFB Gagetown at the end of 1959. Their third son, Tony, was born on August 16, 1960 in Fredericton, with their daughter, Kelly, arriving on the 14th of December in 61. From Gagetown, the family of six moved to the HMC Dockyard in Halifax in 1963, and then to CFB Cornwallis in 64. By May of 1965, their youngest Art was born. Their now completed family moved to the Air Force Station at CFB Trenton, where they remained for eight years. In Trenton, Bunny worked at the Astra Post Office, took a night course for bookkeeping at Trenton High School, and a real estate course at Loyalist College in Belleville, Ontario, in hopes of helping them buy a home. She made the highest mark in her class. In 1974, Bunny, Roy, and their family moved to Barrie, Ontario. Bunny applied to three different jobs and was offered a job at all three. Of the three, the Royal Bank of Canada spoke to her the most, and she went on to work with them for the next 18 years. Bunny became the manager at the Simcoe Plaza branch, where all of her employees were women. She received her letter of accomplishment in 1975 and her fellowship in the Institute of Canadian Bankers in 1979. From Barrie, Bunny and Roy moved to Halifax in 1981, where Roy, Roy retired from the military after 33 years. He spent his early retirement years traveling with Bunny for her career around the East Coast. After spending a year in St. John, they moved to the Miramichi and bought their home that remained forever welcoming to visitors in the years to come. Bunny became the assistant manager at the Royal Bank in Newcastle and specifically managed mortgages and personal loans. After the passing of her mother in 1996, Bunny retired from the bank. During her years on the Miramichi, Bunny was an active member of St. Samuel's Church where she headed many church committees. Bunny was a fantastic lead organizer of any function or event she was involved with through her years. 
She returned to her roots at St. Michael's Basilica in 2009, where she previously made her first communion, confirmation, and married the love of her life. Those that frequented Bunny and Roy's home often knew she loved to keep the house warm and the pool even warmer, regardless of what Roy had to say in opposition. One day when Grampy came home, likely from working on one of their apartments on a sweltering summer day, he could hardly wait to jump in the pool to cool off. He wasted no time when he got home, hopped on the diving board, and dove in. He should have taken note that Nan was in the pool and that this meant the temperature would have been a little higher than his preference. The pool was at Nan's preferred 90 degrees compared to the 69 or 70 Gramp typically aimed for. Her love for the heat only mimicked her warm-hearted nature that we knew so well. Their home and their pool was a hub for, the lo for their loved ones over the years, especially so for her grandchildren. Almost all of my memories from summers at Nan and Gramps include my cousins from away, and I think it's significant that we were all lucky enough to have such a welcoming and natural place to gather. According to Tony, her grandchildren were spoiled just a bit more than her own children. With grandkids all over the country, her love was certainly stretched nationwide, and she had no issue doing so. She loved her trips to Ontario and all of the traveling they got to take in due to Tony's various military postings around Canada and the U.S. Whether she went to them or they came to her, Bunny had no issue spreading her love to all of her grandchildren. In total, she had 34 grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and each of us felt her love wholeheartedly. They were certainly a light in her life, and we have memories and stories of our, of our time with Nan to last a lifetime. Bunny was a beautiful person on the inside and out. She had a pair of shoes and clip-on earrings to match almost every outfit. And her outfits were almost always colorful and bright and perfectly matched her personality that lit up every room she walked in. She had a true passion for reading and could easily spend hours of her day doing so. Like a kid waiting for their parents to doze off before they got up to something mischievous, she would often turn on her light after Roy fell asleep to dive into one of her books. Whether it was a Star magazine or the newish Grish John Grisham novel, Bunny always exemplified to her children and grandchildren the power of education and literature. One of my favorite stories of my nan was from a trip she took with Grampy to Florida one year. They were in the car in line at a border waiting to cross somewhere along the way. The line next to Nan and Gramp was moving quite quickly, and it seemed they were just passing everyone through without much question. When she finally got to her window, Nan hardly gave the worker enough time to get his questions out before she stepped on the gas and blew past the booth. She said she was frustrated with his questions and just kept driving in fear of looking back to see who might be coming after her. I hate to say it, Gramp, but your vehicle might be still wanted somewhere in the States. <laughs> in a way, this spoke to Nan's independence and perseverance through life. She was resolutely her own person, and her strength was undeniably evident through her entirety. Two days prior to, their passing, to her passing, Bunny and Roy celebrated their 66th wedding anniversary, in which they celebrated with all five of their children in their presence. I have no doubt that it is her strength that got her to see their final anniversary, and that it's her strength that will get us through this loss. Grampy, your love is with you forever. Nan, we will love and miss you endlessly. Thank you, Judah. Uh, let us rise and pray. We pray to you, Almighty God, uh, that your servant, uh, Bunny, our sister, for whom we have offered this sacrifice of praise, may come to possess the joy and peace of your eternal home. We ask it through Christ our Lord. From all the CWL scarves I can see around there, uh, you could tell um, that Bunny was a great uh, and active member of the CWL. I'm sure the family are uh, consoled and happy that, uh, that you made it in such numbers. As is the custom of believers, we bring the human body to burial to God. All living things are bound. Let us pray that he will raise again the body of our sister, which we must raise which we must bury in its imperfection, that God will raise it to the perfection and the condition of his saints, and that he will summon her soul to take its place with all the saints and believers. 
May she be at peace with the Father and brought home on the shoulder of the Good Shepherd. May she deserve everlasting joy and the companionship of the saints in the court of the eternal King. Like a tree planted near running streams, so may you rise up and flourish unto the Lord our God. of the angels welcome you and guide you along your way. May the smiles of the martyrs greet your own as darkness turns into day. Every film will be undone and death will be no Sons of the angels bring you home before the face of God. Every fear will be undone, and death will be no more. As sons of the angels bring you home. Before the face of God. To you, Lord, we commend the soul of your servant, Bani, our sister. She has passed from this life. May she live with you. Blot out the sins which she has committed through the frailty of her human nature by the pardon of your most merciful love. Merciful Father, into your hands we commend the soul of our sister, for we are sustained by the sure hope that she will rise again on the last day with all those who have died in Christ. We give you thanks for all the good things that you heaped upon your servant in this mortal life as signs for us of your goodness and of the communion of saints in Christ. Lord, in your great pity, accept our prayer that the gates of paradise may be opened for your servant. And in our turn, may we too be comforted by the words of faith until we hasten to meet Christ when we may all be forever with the Lord and with our sister. We ask it through Christ our Lord. My dear friends, may every mark of affection, every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. People of the Lord, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. But now I see T'was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious dear that grace appeared the hour I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace I 
brought me thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no last days to sing God's grace than when we first begun. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. But now I see, was blind, but now I see. Yeah. 